to my channel i think this is my first video of 2023 um so happy new year it, it literally has been like quite a few weeks since i have made a video i've had a full long christmas break but today i'm kind of starting off where i finished the year and i'm going to be doing a get ready with me so today i'm doing a get ready with me to go and have a nice dinner with my friend ellie um it's going to be like a bit of a different video because i'm going to do get ready with me so i'm going to do hair makeup and outfit we're going to help you're gonna help choose me decide um what to wear um and then i'm gonna do like a little mini vlog i just thought i would bring you guys with me um and bring you guys to where i'm going tonight i'm going to this restaurant called pasha i've never been before ellie has been before um and also ellie has just started her own youtube channel so i'm gonna pop it on screen and in the description because i can't remember the name of it off the top of my head um but i'll pop it on screen and obviously you'll meet it in this vlog and you can go and check out her videos and her channel because she's literally just made one um, and I'm so excited to now have a friend that does YouTube because it has been a long lonely journey doing YouTube on my own for this long Um, it is so good having a friend that now does YouTube too <laughs> people don't think it makes much of a difference but knowing tonight that I'm have that I can openly vlog in front of somebody else is just like the best thing because there's not many people I can actually vlog in front of there's not many people that want to be on camera which is why my vlogs are always a bit like just me one-sided if I ever go out with my friends I kind of just film me nobody else so yeah hopefully that's gonna change a little bit I'm literally sat here with my hot chocolate <laughs> in my little Disney mug it is so cold i have just under two hours to get ready so i kind of need to start getting ready quick because obviously when i'm talking to you guys and things i can't get ready as quick i still i need to do some pictures and things when i'm ready so i'm just grabbing out all of my makeup now um i think for makeup i'm gonna do nothing like two out there but i'm just gonna do like a bronzy um like smoky eye i think quite bronzed face um i've been using the molly may tanning drops i'm looking a lot paler on camera than i look like in the mirror um maybe it's because my lights are so bright probably but um yeah i got the molly made tanning drops the filter tanning drops for my face for christmas and honestly like they've been amazing i've got them on today um and it just has given me so much more confidence to just be like makeup free um except from all of this at the moment which we're just not going to talk about because i swear every time i do get ready with me this happens and i don't know why because the the rest of the time of the month doesn't look like this it's just now um but yeah i'm literally just starting with the charlotte tilbury flawless filter i just well the wonder glow um i always pop this on when i know i'm going to be getting pictures or videos or like going out i just think it does make quite a bit of a difference so that is always my base i already moisturized this morning um so that's why i'm not putting moisturizer on so i'm gonna next go for eyebrows or you can see like a sneaky peek of my outfits there i i can't decide what to wear tonight so it's um basically like a, a dressy restaurant it's not like Mm, I wouldn't say it's like a really fancy restaurant but it's more of like a dancey restaurant if you guys have ever been to Playroom in Leeds it's a little bit similar to that vibe I think so it's like you can wear dresses and heels or like nice trousers or you know like a jumpsuit or something it's quite dressed up but it's like food um, and things like that so well yeah food and drinks and desserts and and things so that's kind of what I'm going for um Ellie sent me a picture of her outfit and she's wearing this like black zebra print cut out dress with boots or heels um so I'm gonna definitely wear a dress but I feel like all my dresses are quite dressy I don't really have like a in-between dress so I've got like a few to pick from that I've laid out um, and I've also working with Shein for Valentine's Day which is obviously coming up and I received quite a few outfits from them yesterday um, and out of all the outfits they've sent me probably only one of them is like suitable for tonight so I'm considering wearing that which I might um, but obviously if I wear that I'll feel like I need the pressure to get pictures and things whereas like I don't really know if I'm feeling pictures tonight in all honesty, in all honesty, um, I just don't know yet, like, if I'm going to be wanting pictures when I'm out. Um, so that's why I'm not sure. But, I'm basically, I want to wear a pink dress, I just don't know which pink dress, because I have quite a lot. 
I've just finished off my eyebrows with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. This is literally empty, look. It's empty. I've ordered myself a new one and I went to pick it up from the post office today after saying it was delivered and basically they've said it's not been delivered so I'm like, mm, okay. Um, so I'm going back there tomorrow to see if it arrives tomorrow because at this moment in time it looks like it's lost. So I hope it's not but I've changed the shade. I usually use chocolate but I ordered, I think I ordered like soft brown I think or something like that. Um, so now I'm going in with the P. Louise base. I pro you're probably not meant to do this but I put P. Louise base on top of my spots as well just because it completely eliminates any redness like it literally obviously it looks crazy right now but when I have foundation on the top you can't see them and my spots are quite red at the moment so it's just something that I always do and I have this little flat brush um, and I'm just basically just going to carve out under my eyebrows quite lightly um, just so that it's like a highlight under there and um, it's quite a good base for like eyeshadow. Um, when I go out I always do this step, I just feel like it makes such a difference to your makeup. Okay so I'm gonna get on with me, my eyes next um, and basically start with my eyes. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, you guys know I'm gonna use this palette, I love this palette so much, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette and I'm starting off with the Strip Poker shade which is like a really soft brown it's so nice and I'm just going in my crease I'm basically just gonna blend and blend and blend because I just want to do a soft brown very light smoky eye I might add a little bit more eyeliner than normal um because I'm going out um and I'm gonna use a bit of a different um eyeshadow on my lid but for the crease I'm just going in with the strip poker mm. It's just like the nicest, softest brown ever. Really, really nice. I've just thought, right, you're probably like, well, I'm just going to bring you out, bring you in while I'm doing my eyes. Um, so you can see a bit better because I feel like you couldn't really see very well, could you, what I was doing. So after I've done the strip poker, I'm going to go in with... <gasps> cashmere bunny which is again just like one shade dark one slightly shade darker than the previous brown and again we're just going to blend and blend and blend in the crease and just just make a really soft smoky eye So now what I'm going to do is I'm using this eyeshadow which I actually got from She Glam on Shein um, and it is called the She Glam Jelly Wow Eyeshadow Pop in Nova Glow. It's like a really light champagne. It's deciding not to focus. Um, let's see if it focuses now. It's just like a really soft light champagne. It's like a jelly type consistency. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take another flat brush and I'm just lightly going to go in that and I'm just going to put it on my lid and this is basically going to be the statement of the eye, like a little champagne moment um, and just put it all over my lid basically and it's quite a soft champagne um, but this is just going to add a little bit of I don't know something to the eye I'm not being like super super precise I'm just kind of patting it on and gradually kind of not blending but just moving the product up a tiny bit so it's not just like a perfectly cut crease because that's not really the look I want to create today so it's just like a really soft gold champagne look I just feel like gold and champagne really suit my eyes um, I know they're meant to suit like blue and green eyes really well well every eye colour really but I just always feel like they, they suit my eyes and I don't really wear a lot of other colours so I'm just going to do the same on the other eye I think I put a bit more on this time. So now that is done, grab 
like a smaller brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade which is called Sexpresso. It looks black on camera, but it's like a dark brown, like a warm dark brown. And I'm gonna get the smallest amount and I'm just gonna go in the outer V like this and blend. I don't know if you can see on camera the type of V that that has made but what I'm going to do now is go in with the same brush that I used before and I'm going to go back into the cashmere bunny shade and I'm just going to blend that whole thing out. So that is basically it for the lid and how they look. I'm really happy with how they look. It's just like a very um bronzy smoky look which i really like for like when i go out you know a bit different um so i'm just gonna do a little bit of like an inner corner highlight so i'm gonna take silk teddy from the same palette and mix it with a little bit of heaven which are like very very light highlighter shades and i'm just gonna add a little bit in the in the inner corner and just a tiny bit under my brow as well but now my eyes are basically done i'm gonna go in with the face um so i'm gonna go in with foundation and i'm basically gonna mix um, mac and maybelline so i've got maybelline um new york 30 hour foundation um in it's a super stay one it doesn't actually say what shade this is oh 21 nude beige and then i have the mac studio fix in nc40 which is bit too dark for me at the moment so i'm gonna mix them um i need to get a new mac that's um lighter than this but i'm just gonna basically put like four pumps of that and then the rest of that i'm just gonna buff it into my skin So now foundation is done, I'm going to go in with concealer, so I'm going to use the Revolution Conceal and Define in C2 and I'm just going to basically just put this everywhere. I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and just basically blend everything out. actually going to do is I've blended most out but I'm just going to leave this little bit under my eyes just to kind of sit there for a moment while I put my contour on um, because I do feel that when you let them sit for a little while it definitely makes it brighter so that's why I'm just going to let it sit for a moment so I'm going to go in with the Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define um, for contour I'm gonna grab my angle brush and I'm just gonna pat this out and um, sometimes I do it with a beauty blender sometimes I do it with a brush but I feel like if I want more of a prominent contour I'll do it with a brush So I'm looking super contoured and defined right now. Um, so I'm going to go in with powder. So I'm going to use the Revolution Translucent Pressed, not pressed powder. It's like loose powder. Um, and I have this little like brush. I got this from Shein and it, it literally has made the biggest difference. This like powder puff. So I'm just going to get powder on the end and it's really good that it's angled. I'm going to go straight in and press that under my eyes it looks like a lot of powder but honestly like i get the biggest creases under my eyes so if i can minimize that um by setting powder on right away then i'm always going to do it so i'm just going to basically put this like where i want like the base to really set um, which is always usually under my eyes under my chin and then like down my smile lines 
and I'll put a little bit down the center of my nose as well because I want that to stay highlighted so that is basically what I do with that and then just because I'm going out um, I'm gonna put some under where I've just contoured just to create that sharp contour so now that is all just setting on my face i'm going to go in with bronzer and i'm going to do the Too faced chocolate salil um bronzer which i love and it smells amazing i've had this for ages and it's like barely gone down but i love this bronzer i use it every single day so i'm just going to use it with my angle brush and just go kind of go over where i've contoured This has been set in for a little while now, so I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to wipe away all that powder, which is one of the most satisfying steps, in my opinion. Literally just going to wipe all that powder away. Because I'm going out, I don't always do this step, but I'm going to grab my MAC pressed powder um, and I'm just going to basically just put a little bit on the rest of my face that I didn't put the translucent powder. Um, mainly, mainly my forehead just because I don't want to, my makeup to slip and I haven't really like properly set that part of my face. So I just kind of dot a little bit round and that's probably about it. But you can already tell like under my eyes and you know under here how much brighter everything is just from setting that powder which is something I always do when I'm going out um I don't always do it kind of day-to-day -day basis unless I do want like a brighter under eye um but when I go out it's something I always do so when I go ahead with blush I'm going to take the NARS orgasm blush which is just the best mine has broken which is so annoying but I just love this blush I'm gonna have to get a new one soon but literally I use it every single day I don't want another one I love it so much I'm very almost done with the makeup. I just need to finish off my eyes and do my lips. So I'm going to go back in with the same fluffy brush with the Cashmere Bunny and Strip Poker. Just like a little mix of them. And I'm going to go under the lash line and just bring that colour a little bit under. Not too much because I used to make the mistake of going too harsh and too much. But I'm literally just bringing it the tiniest bit on the corner there. Um, just to blend it in with the rest of the colour. Obviously, I'm not bringing it down anywhere near here or anything. It's just on the outer corners. Um, just to create that, like, elevated eye look as well. Like, that feline eye. My small brush again. And I'm going to go into the dark brown Sexpresso shade. And I'm going to do the same, but very, very lightly. Um, not too much at all. Just the tiniest little bit. Just to add you know, just definition under the corners of the eye. I really need to brush my lashes. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you can tell the difference, but now I have the bit underneath. It just brings everything together a little bit more. So next I'm gonna take this eyeliner, which is, it's the Maybelline Tattoo Eyeliner. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of do what I've just done, but in the waterline. I never really do a full waterline eyeliner, um, it's just something that I don't think I really sue, um, I feel like I've got, well I've got quite big eyes, um, but I just don't like the look of it if I go all the way in, so I usually just do a half, um, and I also make sure that that's brown not black, it's just a lot softer overall. Okay, so now I'm going to take my setting spray which is the Revolution Base Fix and I'm just going to set my whole face. And for highlight, I'm going to take the little bit of Heaven and a little bit of Silk Teddy um, and just like mix them together for the highlight. I need to get like a proper highlight. If anyone's got any um, suggestions on a good highlight, then let me know. I want to get like a liquid one, um, but for now I'm just using the ones in this eyeshadow palette, which I love. <laughs> glory right now lips which is literally like my favorite part i'm gonna zoom you in so you can see please ignore 
the chin situation but we've done the best we can so for lips i'm going to take the mac lip liner in cork and we're gonna go and not necessarily overline but just outline the lips and just add definition what I usually do with my lips it looks a little bit crazy at the moment but it does add an overall plumper look once you put your lipstick on so for lipstick I'm going to take the MAC Honey Love lipstick which is just one of my staples at the moment I love it so much I have found that MAC lipsticks are quite drying let me know if anyone else feels the same because I really do feel like they are quite drying the perfect nudie pink um i also got my nails done today do you like them guys i feel like i can show you now you're all closed up i get them done by caitlin b beauty on instagram um i just went for the classic french because it's january anyway now we're gonna go in with gloss because i just feel like i'm not really a matte girl anymore i need some gloss um so this is the jua if that's how you pronounce it gloss in femin feminist it is just honestly the most beautiful if it's going to focus natural pink color so and the packaging is just to die for as well so i'm just gonna basically just put this all over my lips honestly feel like gloss just completes the lip like how much bigger do my lips look as well just with the gloss on um and i haven't had lip fillers in over a year i'm so like proud of my lips like for stayed so well but this is the finished lip combo which I literally wear every single day. Makeup is all done and I'm really, really happy with the end result. Let me know what you guys think below. It's just like a super glowy, smoky eye, not too harsh, just like really warm look, which I'm just really into at the moment. But we're gonna move on to hair now. I think I'm just gonna do a loose curl all over because all honesty, we're going to a restaurant and it is a dressy restaurant, but I don't wanna be like too overboard. Um, so at the moment my hair is just completely straight. I literally, I washed it yesterday and I've not done anything with it. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell but I have like highlights now um, because I got like different colour extensions um, put in so I have like different colours running through my hair. You'll be able to see better when it's curled but I'm just going to brush it all out for now. Um, I put oil in it yesterday as well so it's really soft. It's just in like the best condition at the moment. Um, so yeah i'm just gonna like loose curl it all over i think that's the plan um i don't have like a fancy curly wand or anything i don't have like a dyson or anything i'm literally just using a babyliss curling wand that i've had for about 15 years um and for heat protectant i'm using this schwarz goth let's hope i said that right keratin heat spray so i'm just gonna spray this basically all over my hair um, because we want to save these extensions and we want to save our own natural hair as well but i can't believe that my hair is basically the same length as my extensions now like i'm actually going to stand up and show you how long this hair is because i feel like you guys never see me with straight hair so when i have straight hair i have to show you how long it actually is are you ready can you see how long that is it is insane but my hair is by the amazing boss extensions she is incredible um i just have to focus on growing these now these little twiggly bits one day it'll be all long and, it's, and princess hair that is the hair i dream of i'm slowly getting there it's just taking a little bit of time um i feel like i can talk to you guys more now i'm doing my hair so i literally just gotta wrap it around the barrel i don't use like the clamp or anything i just wrap it around hold it for like 
10 seconds and let it go i'm not super precise with my hair um at all like now it's all long and beautiful with my extensions like i just go along with it and i don't put too much effort into styling it um i try not to curl it that much i use heatless curls quite a lot of the time um which i honestly think has helped my hair grow by not using heat and things like that um so I'm just going to carry on doing this throughout the whole of my hair and I kind of just like hold them a little bit before I let them drop but this is the curl it creates um I'll probably brush them out after like not yet but once I've done my whole head so I'll speed you guys up now but I'm just gonna go ahead and go around the whole of my head One side is curly, one side is straight. I'm going to show you the length difference when it's curly and straight. I haven't like brushed them out, I've literally done anything with them yet, but this is how it looks like when it's freshly curled and this is what it looks like when it's straight. It definitely takes off a lot of length. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you because I have like 28 inch hair, but when it's curly it doesn't feel that long. It's only when it's straight that it feels like really, really long. Um, I think this is why I'm obsessed with long hair so much because when I curl it, it literally shrinks like properly shrinks but to do pretty much half my head then literally took me about five minutes so i'm just going to carry on and i'll show you the end result of my hair and then we'll pick an outfit together because i really need help <laughs> i'm acting as if like you guys can speak to me through the camera so you definitely can't but um yeah i literally don't know what to pick but i have to set off in like just under an hour so Luckily I've got a little bit more time than normal. <laughs> I've done my whole head so I'm just going to sh basically shake them out. So I'm just going to like lean back and just shake them all out. Just because I'm kind of going for that loose waves I think tonight. Um... Honestly, like, I'm just not that fussy with my hair, so, this is what we're, we're working with right now, so I want to keep the volume, but I'm just going to, like, recurl these little bits at the front, because I feel like when the front bit looks awful, your whole hair doesn't look great, so... And I just have like a slight side pattern at the moment, I think, so I might change that to a middle. So, basically this is my hair, I'm really happy with it. Um, I think I'm just going to put like a little bit of volume in the back, so I'm just going to um, like slightly back comb a little bit under here. But like I said, I don't really like to do too much. Um, so I'm just going to bring it forward again and I'm just going to add some hairspray so it stays. Um, this is just the L'Oreal Elmet. I'll stand up and show you my hair. So this is what it's looking like, just like a, a little bit beachy actually, but it's quite like a glamorous curl but because my hair is so long it does naturally kind of curl around itself anyway which I really like um got a few little straight ends which I don't mind just a little bit like messy and not perfect you know um and I just feel like now I've got highlights it just looks a million times nicer so this is the hair and makeup and I'm going to show you my outfit options and then I'm going to put it on and show you the finished look, the full head to toe look and then we're going to head out and I'm really excited. I need to get a bit more hungry because I'm eating in like, to be fair I've still got two hours before I'm eating so it's fine because I'm going to be eating a lot of food so 
yeah i'm excited to bring you guys along but i'm gonna run you guys through my outfit options i said i wanted to wear pink so i think i am gonna wear a pink dress so these are my options this is option number one so this is from shein from my valentine's day collection that i am working with them for um so it's this really beautiful pink satin dress it is like ruched on the side and the bum is super flat and with like a high back cup detail it is really really nice and this would go with like basically like black heels and a black bag i think so this is definitely a strong content that i might go for tonight and then i have this dress and um, that i think i wore last time i went out with ellie all the time before um which again i love this is from my own brand princess kachar it's a little bit like the old poly one it's very very pretty but i guess it's a little bit more summery than that one over there it's strapless and it's ruched down the side um again it is super super flattering it's gorgeous um and then I have a couple more. So this one again is, I think this one's from Shein actually, but this is similar to the House of CB one. I wore this in a couple of videos back when I did a get ready with me for my birthday. Um, it's beautiful, it's really flattering, it's super stretchy as well, which is really good. Um, so this is definitely a contender as well. Um, and then I just have one more, which is this one. And this is another one I've been very kindly gifted from Shein. It's more champagne than pink, if, as you can tell. Um, it's really pretty with the sparkles, but maybe this is a bit more going out with the sparkles. Like the rest of them are very plain. This one has a, a lot more sparkle to it. Um, and again, it's ruched all the way down the back. It is super pretty, but I feel like this is a little bit more clubbing than the rest of the dresses. Um, so I think I might kind of eliminate that one. Um, I think I'm going to eliminate that one as well because I don't think I'm feeling a strapless dress tonight. So I think it's going to be between these two so you can tell the color this one's very baby pink on the left and this one's more of like a soft warm pink so yeah i'm gonna decide and i'll show you guys the finished result but comment down below which one out of these four you would put me in tonight totally off topic but i just really wanted to quickly show you guys this dress because i've been gifted this beautiful dress from shein for their valentine's day collab and it is so pretty so i'm actually going to get a picture in this um before i put my other dress on so i can get some instagram content done while i'm full glam um but yeah how nice is this dress i'm just obsessed i just want to show you my jewelry choice for tonight as well so i'm wearing this beautiful bracelet from princess kachar i've got these little earrings in i'm deciding between these ones and the ones i've already got in my ring and my necklace um and these are the other earrings that i have in so i'm just deciding between these and the drop ones um because like i don't want to look too much um but yeah i'll show you guys when i have the finished look so i am officially ready my perfume of choice is the victoria's secret bombshell i got this for christmas from my boyfriend it is just unreal this is my night out perfume it is just unreal and i've got all my jewelry on i'll put you in a better light so i've got all my jewelry on necklace and i'll show you my dress it is the one from shein that i've been sent for the valentine's day campaign <laughs> i swear to god this dress is too small for me but you know we roll with it so yeah it's like super super tight but it's cute so we're going for it um so yeah this is the dress it is really cute it's like this really nice pink off like dusky pink color my Louis Vuitton black bag and my black heels and I'm putting like a big coat over the top because I don't really want to be walking around like this, you know? But um, yeah, this is the look. So I'm going to set off now and I will see you guys in Pasha because I'm going to vlog a little bit, which I'm excited for and I have to eat like so much food. So let's go and have fun. So we've just got I'm here. Not watching back <laughs> You'll get used to it. <laughs> Like, it won't focus you know at I mean? all. Wait, hang on. I've got an idea. <laughs> Sorry, on. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we got chicken. 
chicken parmesan. Looks insane. We've both got the same. We're gonna get a dessert. Hello guys, I'm officially back home, literally just got back home and made myself a cup of tea in bed. I am shattered, me and Ellie were both so tired by the end of um, the dinner, but honestly the food was so good. So I had chicken parmesan um, with, uh, yeah, chicken parmesan and then we shared a Biscoff cheesecake. I have no idea how, we were going to get one each um, and then we got one to share instead and I'm so happy we did because honestly I I could not have even eaten half of one to myself if I did um, and yeah we just couldn't manage like a start or anything I had three mocktails as well they were really nice definitely recommend going there if you're close to like Leeds or Bradford um, it's called Pasha and it's in Bradford I'll leave like things linked down below and I'll also link Ellie's channel because she has started YouTube and I have a YouTube friend um, which is really good so yeah and if you want to see any pictures or stories go and head to my Instagram um, and things like that but I'll probably insert some clips in here but a bit of a different video for me get ready with me to actually go out and film being out I hope you've enjoyed um please do subscribe if you've got any video suggestions go for it and yeah I'll see you in the next video bye guys